If you're tired of the entire plant staring into your soul while you try to work on the machine, then you're probably ready to come to our PLC training. <laughs> Within five minutes of getting here on Monday morning, you're gonna be programming this PLC. That's right. We don't do any of the history of the PLC. We don't teach you about data types, at least not on Monday, because really you came here to learn how to troubleshoot a PLC. And that's where we want you to start at. By lunchtime on Monday, you're gonna know 80% of what's in a typical PLC program. And then we're gonna start learning about wiring. After lunch on Monday, which speaking of lunch, this is not a catered class. We are not gonna give you any sales pitches. This is an intense class and it is not meant for everyone. But you're gonna learn how to wire this PLC. And yeah, this may look like a mess to you, but the person who did it knows how to troubleshoot a machine. I'm not gonna give you a wiring diagram. You're going to have to figure out how to wire the first two inputs and the first two outputs before I'll help you out. You're gonna to have to understand syncing, sourcing, how to read the manual because our goal is not to teach you how to wire. Our goal is to teach you how to figure out where this loose wire that the student left here goes. Monday is the equivalent of your typical college PLC programming class. Then you're gonna get to Tuesday and most students will tell you Tuesday is the most intense day of the week because we're going to expand on what we've learned. We're gonna learn about analog signals. We're gonna connect devices like this PowerFlex 525 over ethernet. You're gonna learn about what are analog signals? What's a zero to 10 volt versus a four to 20 milliamp? What's a current loop versus a current source? Active power versus passive power? How in the world do you wire these things depending on what they are? And then we're gonna gather all that data and we're gonna do some math. I know you didn't come here for math, but the thing is you're gonna run into math out there and I can't have you stopping when you get to the math and not knowing what to do. Then we're gonna show how you can take that data and make more advanced decisions with it than you learned on Monday with their basic instructions. Wednesday is by far my favorite day because it's reverse engineering day. And I always tell everybody, we don't learn anything new on Wednesday. We're really trying to take everything we've learned Monday and Tuesday and push it down into our long-term memory. And we're gonna do that with this machine trainer here. Now I'm not gonna give you a peek inside of it during this video, but it is designed to be just like a machine that you would walk up to out in the field. There are no wiring diagrams. There are no wire labels. There's no documentation in the PLC program. And you got to figure out what's wired to what? How does the machine operate? And what really excites me about Wednesday is the team building that happens on it and the camaraderie that starts forming. You're gonna come here with a group that chances are you have never seen before in your life and you'll never see again. And it's always amazing to see how you start to work with others and how y'all start to share experiences and that's where the real learning happens. Thursday, you're gonna start off learning about function blocks and structured text. And you ran into these on Wednesday and you backed out of it because they're not familiar. And I think that's one thing that makes our class unique compared to a lot of classes. People ask me all the time, can you send the course layout of what's gonna be done every day? And I'm like, I can send you an idea, but every class is different. So if something comes up that we need to learn on Tuesday, we address it Tuesday. If the question doesn't come up until Thursday, then we'll address it Thursday. And that's the key that makes our training work is we do not address something until you actually need to learn it. Then we're gonna come back over to the machine trainer that you reverse engineered on Wednesday. And if you look on the side of it here, it has these switches. And these switches are designed to simulate real breaks that you'll see out in the field. And I always tell you, this is not a race at this point. I know your hair is usually on fire when you're trying to troubleshoot a machine and you got everybody on your back. But this week, our goal is to teach you to think through the problem. We wanna observe what's wrong with the machine. What observations do we see and what it's doing right and what it's doing wrong? And how do we use that information to get to the root cause of the problem? Friday, I'm gonna hit you with a barrage of communications exercises. I get calls from people all the time saying, hey, I took a PLC programming class, but I don't know how to connect to the machine. Getting connected to the PLC is by far the most difficult thing you will have to do. So we actually will line up a bunch of trainers here and yeah, you will have to manage to connect to each one of them. 
Then we're gonna go back over to the machine trainer again, and we're gonna flip some more advanced switches to really just nail down and hone your troubleshooting skills. Also, there's never been two Fridays that are the same. Friday has a lot of custom things depending on the particular class. So if there's a specific application you have back at your plant and we have the equipment for it, I'll set up a custom exercise just to help you learn that. Click this link if you're serious about learning to troubleshoot machines. Note that we do not accept everyone. So when we ask you why you wanna to learn to troubleshoot machines, be prepared to give a good answer. If you're just getting started out or you're on the fence, then click this link for a playlist I created to help you out.